Hey everybody, this is Paul at RC Phone Fighters. Welcome back for part three of my experimental EPP uh, park jet build, the plane with the four swept wings. In this video, we're getting on to, to uh, doing the final construction of the plane. I'm going to be putting all the electronics in, uh, finishing up the taping, and we're going to get out to do the maiden flights. So let's get into the video and see how it all goes. Okay, I'm going to get started on installing all the electronics into the plane. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to install the servos. So I've taken some servos and I've marked the locations on where they're going to go on the wings. I'm going to use the uh, hot knife tool to cut holes in the wings to embed the servos into the plane. Okay, I got the motor mount made. It's just made out of simple basswood and using blind nuts on the back side. I'm going to cut a groove in the back of the plane, basically in this H pattern. Um, with the hot knife tool and then I'm going to insert the motor mount into it and basically epoxy it into the plane to make it secure. Okay I used the Weller hot knife tool and I cut basically an H pattern into the back of the foam here. Now I'm just going to use the pre-assembled motor mount that I built and it's going to slip and slide right into the back of the plane and basically I'll epoxy it into the back of the plane to secure it and that's it. Okay as you can see I finished mounting the motor mount into the plane. It's uh, securely epoxied into the back and now I'm test fitting the motor and the rest of the electronics on the plane and kind of seeing where they're going to lay out on top of the fuselage. I'm also going to use the um, balance um, tester to test the center of gravity to see if it's um, coming close to where we're planning on the CG beam. Um, after I get everything situated I'm going to be using the hot knife tool to carve some channels into the plane to hide the wire, the ESC, and the receiver. Um, so let me get on to that and then we'll continue the video after I get it, things kind of situated. Okay I've got all the electronics finally installed into the airplane so now all I have to do is uh, do the final taping of the plane and add the tail fins. So let's get on to that part and we'll see how it goes. Okay got the plane all taped up and pretty much finished up. So now it's off to the park in a little bit to um, do the maiden flights. Wish me luck, hope it goes good. Okay, Sunday, June 21st, right out of the park, uh, fly a bunch of our planes. We got our friend, uh, Brando, he finally came out from Brando <laughs> RC on YouTube. He's gonna be showing us some of his planes and uh, we're gonna be showing him some of ours. So let's get it kicked off. Okay guys, hey it's Paul with RC Phone Fighters. I finally got the plane all finished up. Um, this is going to be the main flight. I'm not totally sure how it's going to fly. I've got the CG adjusted to an approximate um, about 16 inches back from the nose. It seemed when I uh, did the glide test in the field in the back of the house, it seemed like that was about where it needed to be. So I'm hoping we're uh, pretty close on the CG. So here it goes, main flight. <laughs> Look at that, dude. Okay. Dialed right off the bat. I like it. And just to note this wasn't built to be a speed plane. Uh, for my friend Chris. Told me about it. Looks like it's dozing up actually a little bit. So I think the uh, KF airfoil is actually helping uh, the center of gravity. Man, that thing's small on the camera. Yeah. Looks pretty stable though, Paul. Yeah. It's very easy to control, actually. It's uh, more stable than I thought it would be. So I'm actually very happy. That was a pit. Um, oh, yeah. Can you do a roll yet? Oh, there we go. Yeah, it looks like it rolls good. Faster than I thought, too. I, I actually put smaller elevons on this than uh, I would if it was for myself. I wanted to mellow it out a little too. Uh, it looks like it's uh, flying good. Looks like you got a little torque roll to the right. Tell Tom to get the radar gun out. You got the radar gun? Yeah. Okay. You get it? 
Okay, hang on. Yeah, I think the idea of putting the enlarged wing roots helped mellow out the uh, forward swept wing characteristics. I think it's flying very stable. 54, that's not bad, that's about what I was shooting for. Yeah, that'll be more than a handful for Chris. Yeah, it does have a quick roll if you get on it. Looks cool in the air, man. Yeah. That looks like the, I'm happy with the design. I'm gonna have to make me. And a what was the watt draw on that thing and the uh, amperage? Watts were only 168 amps. Amps were only I think 13 amps. <laughs> oh, man, you'd be able to fly a long time on that battery. So I guess for an experimental play, I'm. What sure about loops, that. man? How does it do loops? Let me get up higher. Yeah. It's pretty low on power, dude. But That's all right, man. Yeah. For a beginner plane. Yeah. That's a nice cruise. Yeah. That would be perfect for him, man. Yeah, see if he can get it to fly pretty slow, man. What'd you say that thing weighs in at, Paul? 19 ounces. That's not bad for a 19 ounce point. Size, but, uh, that's because of all the extra weave and wrap and... Making it bulletproof. Yeah, making it for a minute apart. It's starting to lose the lift up there. It's not super slow flyer, but it's, uh, I think it's a little slower than like yours is, right? Oh, it's a lot slower than mine, man. Mine would never fly that slow. I guess you could call that one a true park fly, right? Oh, yeah. Man, that's nasty. Yeah, when you get on it, snap. Isn't that, that's just got a 1350 milliamp battery in it too, yeah. right? 13 amp draw, man, that ain't very much. You look like probably fly a while. Happy with the maiden flight. Um, seems like everything worked out all right. CG looks like it's pretty close. So uh, I think we're pretty dialed on the first flight. Cool. Hey everybody, this is Paul again. Um, we're back at the house and uh, all the test flights are pretty much finished. And I was very happily surprised at how good this plane flew off the first toss. Um, I think a lot of our research and um, pre testing up front, doing the glide test and all that stuff, helped us find the uh, CG. Um, pretty quick and there wasn't really any adjustments I had to do so I pretty much flew uh, pretty good off the first toss so I'm pretty happy so I'd just like to throw my thanks out to Chris for helping me uh, come up with the idea for this plane and um, just to let him know he better start practicing his flying because this thing's going to come in his way so I'm going to be uh, looking forward for Chris to send out some video to us to show us how a uh, beginner flies his plane so we'll hopefully uh, get some video on that in the future. Okay, last I'd just like to throw out some thanks to our friend Brandon from the YouTube channel, Brando RC. Um, he came out to Missouri here to fly with us and also share a lot of ideas um, with us. And we exchanged some uh, good information and I think we both learned a lot. Uh, if you guys haven't seen Brandon's uh, channel at Brando RC on YouTube, I suggest you do. He does have a lot of uh, very unique ideas, including uh, mounting airsoft guns to RC planes and kind of a um, unique bird style um, aileron elevon setup so it's pretty neat I'll put the link in the sidebar please check out Brandon's channel also um, and please stay tuned to our channel we're gonna be having a lot more videos coming up in the future um, and thanks for joining us see you next time